Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is our next stealth camp on route Barry. It's found a really good spot for now. Unfortunately, there is no shade whatsoever in this whole parking lot. It is pretty barren of trees and any type of structure that will uh, give me some shade. So uh, it is almost six o'clock at night. So the, the sun will be going down soon. Get the, the temperatures down in here a little bit. Uh, I'll leave my windows open. There we go. So windows are down, let some of the heat out. Uh, this place has a Tim Hortons, an A&W, Popeyes. It has the Starbucks drive-through. It has a CIBC uh, bank machine, and then it has a Freshie. And it also has like uh, the en route market and that's open 24 hours. Tim Hortons is open 24 hours and all the other ones have like normal uh, open and close times. So uh, I'm gonna try really hard to go in there at like two or three o'clock in the morning and just to see what it looks like in an en route at uh, two or three o'clock in the morning. But right now we're gonna get some food and let's go try Freshy. I kind of li listed off a few things that I want to try. So uh, let's go get it and we'll come back here and enjoy it with you. So like I said, there's an A&W, Popeyes, Tim Hortons, Starbucks is outside and they have this market and you can buy all your uh, candy and ice cream and pop. It's like a convenience store or a gas station. But the, the freshie that I really wanted to do is grab and go. So it's pre-made freshie stuff. Unfortunately, it's not, I have a, a few lists a few things I really wanted to try, but this is uh, its not like a typical freshy restaurant. So I guess they got a deal with uh, En Route. Hmm, so they've got, so let's see, buffalo chicken wrap. I guess we should try a couple of things just to see what they're like, eh? Chances are on a normal day, I would get this because I love buffalo chicken and I don't mind wraps. Um, so I would probably get something like this. We got tuna, ham and cheese, and then egg. That would probably be, again, something I would get on a normal day if I was hungry and needed something to eat right now. So we'll try the buffalo chicken, egg salad. What else can we try? They've got these little honey and garlic pepperoni bites. I'd like to give that a shot. Three things so far. Has anybody tried that? It's French. There we go, sparkling mango. Mm. These are fresh specialty drinks. This is the one you have to really shake up. I'm gonna try that. It's like that green stuff that Tony Stark drank. Tony Stank. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. Look what it's got in it, people. Apple, spinach, kale. Yuck, celery, lemon, ginger. Gotta try it, just for laughs. They have other things here, like avocado smash box, a couple eggs, some grapes, cheese. They also have these energy bites. Uh, this one's peanut butter, banana, nut, and then cocoa. Uh, I think I, if I was to get one of these, I'd probably get the peanut butter bites. Let's give that a shot as a dessert. So I've got uh, two main meals, a snack, drink, dessert. Let's buy it. Starbucks drinks. Chocolate bars galore. Chips. Uh, travel stuff. Visine. Advil. Of course you have the Canadian moose. Got the jerky. Got the nuts. Got the Kinder chocolate, of course. And I got some merch. More merch, more ice cream, chips. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? All right. Have you tried this green stuff? <laughs> uh, 
Do you need a bag? Ah, uh, that would be fantastic, thanks. Visa. It almost fits. <laughs> yep. I know it's Thank so you. Cool. Fantastic. Have a good night. You too. Green arrow, nice. Pe peppermint chocolate. I guess if you like to gamble, buy your lottery tickets here. Hmm. They have very good clean washrooms here. Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, a little disappointing in the fact they don't have a full on freshie because uh, I really wanted that Perry Perry. That looks so good on their on their website. I even went to the location here and like clicked on all the different stores. Uh, I guess I missed the whole idea that it's part of the en route um, market. So again, the en route market is the convenience store. So basically, this is a travel stop, truck stop. They have gas pumps for regular cars. They even have the en route uh, EV charging stations. Uh, they pretty much have everything here and at the back they have two gigantic generators because if you guys remember back in the early 2000s we had that whole blackout that blacked out the whole eastern seaboard and uh, part of and this whole area was down too and any of the gas stations along here had no power for their pumps so people were stranded on the highway at the gas stations just waiting until the power went back on so they couldn't even access the gas so now they've kind of circumvented that with these uh, on routes and the fact that if there was a huge blackout or whatever this building would still run which would be great people wouldn't be stranded like they used to be so let's put this off to the side for a second get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating shall we get the napkin out get the placemat out dump all of our food and our beautiful tony stark green drink let's mix up that kale shall we I've never had anything like this before in my life. Have you? All right, guys, going for the extreme close-up of this freshy smorgasbord. Off to our left there is the buffalo chicken wrap. Over here, we have the egg salad sandwich. Uh, this is the green genius. Can't wait to try that. And then we have the pepperoni bites, honey and garlic. And for dessert, we're gonna do the peanut butter uh, what do they call them? Energy bites. Let's do this. First off, let's see if we can open this egg salad sandwich. Get a couple bites of that. I almost need like a special little extra knife thing going on here. Oh, I do have one. There we go. Got the knife out. Let's see if this will open. Hmm. Let's see if freshy is fresh. Seems fresh. Seems like it was made today. Kind of fresh. Like I'd make at home. It's all nice and soft. It smells like egg salad. I guess they put enough in there. When you're on the highway, things are more expensive. It's like a multi-grain bread, tastes really good. As sandwiches go, it's not bad. And they used arugula with the egg salad. Never had arugula on an egg salad sandwich before, but when I first looked at it, it looked like either just regular lettuce or spinach, like baby spinach. But uh, yeah, if you're ever interested in trying something new, try egg salad with arugula. Arugula! Cause it's good. I just noticed the buffalo wrap expires tomorrow. So good thing we're eating it today. I wanna try this. I'm hoping it tastes more like apple juice than kale juice. Mm. Here we go guys, drinking the Tony Stark Green Genius drink. I can smell the ginger, pretty much ginger.
but that ginger's really got a kick to it. Have you ever had, um, what is that stuff from England called? It's not ginger ale, but it's uh, ginger beer. It kind of has a ginger beer taste to it, which is a little bit more harsh than ginger ale. Yeah, I definitely can taste that celery as well. So you, you kind of have that sweetness from the apple. I don't taste any spinach, but I definitely taste the ginger, lemon, and celery. I don't taste the kale, which is a good thing. I guess that's the bitterness part, is the kale. Well, if you want yourself cleaned out, that's probably the one you want to use. Let's see if we can open this thing up. Oh, it's stuck on the back. I got like some tape. Oh, geez, they use packing tape. So we've stopped here many times going up to the cottage. Either we stop in here to grab a coffee at Tim Hortons, or we'll grab something from A&W or, or Popeyes. There you go, guys. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. Again, out of all those things in that cooler, what do you think you would choose? Again, I'm a spice guy, so I always tend to go for things like this. Let's give it a shot. Not gonna lie, it's a little dry. I'm not sure when they made it, if it expires tomorrow. It doesn't have a made date, it just has a expired date. The buffalo um, spice is coming through nicely. It's got a nice little, <laughs> a nice little burn on the tongue. I'm guessing you're gonna have to like keep shaking this up so it's all that stuff is just going to settle every time. This is pretty good. It'd probably, probably be good if I like nuked it. It'll probably be better if I nuked it. I'm starting to get the cheese. The wrap is not bad. Would I buy this over the egg sandwich? The egg sandwich was $6.99 and this is $8.99. So if you wanted to save a couple bucks, I would definitely get the egg salad sandwich over this. Um, but again, if you want a little bit more meat in your diet, it definitely has a lot of meat in it. Ooh la la. This would definitely fill you up a bit more for sure. Is it worth the extra couple bucks? I guess so. The seagulls are out, but they won't want my kale. I wouldn't mind finding a freshie in the future and trying fresh food from freshie as opposed to cooler food. It's gonna to expire tomorrow. Let everybody know if you're a freshie fan and if their food is as good as you hope it would be. Next up, honey garlic pepperoni bites. Hey, nice wiener. Ooh la la. Oh. Definitely smells better than kale. Mmm, sweet, garlicky, meaty, not spicy at all. Mm. That honey is coming through nicely. These would be actually pretty good to grab and then share with a bunch of people uh, in a car. So there were 12 in here, so a bunch of you would get a few, at least. I mean, that would definitely hit the spot. Tied you over until the next en route. And then grab some Popeyes. These are definitely, go out and get it now. Super yummy. I'm gonna give that a quick shake. Make sure I'm getting all those little bits and pieces on the bottom. Yeah, the gin ginger is pretty much taking over my taste buds. 100% juice, keep refrigerated. 100 calories for the bottle. 460 grams of potassium, no doubt. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be nasty. All right, now the best part, energy bites, peanut butter. 
Oh boy. They always put two eyes at the end of everything. Okay. So it looks like there are three balls. Check out my balls. Ooh la la. Smells like peanut butter. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I brought my water. Very peanut butter y. It's like somebody mixed peanut butter and flour together. It's like cookie dough, like peanut butter cookie dough. And on the outside, it looks like there is coconut. So it's peanut butter, dry roasted peanuts, gluten free oats, sugars, agave syrup, chocolate chips, sugar, unsweetened chocolate, and a whole bunch of other stuff, even sea salt. So it was $4 for three of these. So each one of these is like a dollar thirty-four per ball. Hmm. Oh. Again, it's a travel center. You might not want to pull off the highway and go somewhere. And that's what you got. Take it or leave it. Like I said, glad I brought my water. This is one of the rare locations that's really close to the city that there's a normal road running behind it and people can access the on route from the normal road, which is good for me because that way we can go for a nice little walk and um, explore. Actually, before we go, I'm just gonna move my car to the other side to a just different spot. There's the EV stations. This is the drive through for the Tim Hortons and there's two lanes you can pick from. There's uh, parking for employees and people that are coming from the other part of the city. They're not coming from the highway. This is how the trucks get to their spots. Starbucks. And the picnic area over there too. Seasonal. Right by the Canadian Tire gas station area. Now I can go for a walk. Hopefully later on the traffic dies down and won't be as noisy. So here's the uh, kind of picnic area that might be washrooms, I'm not sure, but it does say that it's a seasonal thing. So they have a gate they close during the winter time. So obviously it's summertime, so it's all open. Nobody's using it right now. But again, if you're here with a large group and you want some more space away from everybody else, this is where you want to do it and a great place to walk your dog. A lady just came and uh, closed the gates and locked it so uh, you can't use that at nighttime. Just a heads up. Just notice this, they offer uh, free drinkable water. Very nice, portable water, automatic water spout, place container below, spout to fill. Nice, awesome. They even got a little wa dog water bowl here. Well, I did about uh, two and a half kilometers. I cut the grass today, which is just over three kilometers. So I've done my exercise for the day. And of course now it's uh, almost eight o'clock. So let's go grab a snack. Wild berry cheesecake, caramel filled ring. Thank you. That's what we'll do. Hi. 
So I get a large two cream. Okay. And a wild berry cheesecake and a caramel flavor. Please. Is that okay? That's it. That's good. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Mm, quick grab beverages. I used to love Rockstar, especially the cola one. Poor Rusty's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> oh no. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our after dinner snack. Sorry about the uh, the phallic symbol there. Ooh la la. It just happened. Um, here we go. There's a large coffee, two cream, and that is a wild berry filled donut, and that is a caramel filled donut, and that whole thing, thing came to nine dollars and twenty three cents. Oh man, look at that! The heat is getting ridiculous once again. Let's open that one up for sure. I'm just worried that the people who have these trucks are going to just walk up and start their monster machines. It's going to be very loud. So let's do the wonderful Tim Hortons coffee. I probably shouldn't be drinking this at 8 o'clock at night. But I want to stay up a little bit later so I can go in there and see what's going on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. First up, wild berry. I've never had this before. It smells great. Mmm, smells like candy floss. Mmm. Hey, oh. They somehow got jelly inside. Oh yeah. Even more jelly. Smells like cotton candy, and definitely tastes like wild uh, berry. One of my favorite pop tarts from back in the day was a wild berry one, and it definitely has that same look to it. Maybe the the pop tart was definitely a little more purple, but same flavor. All right, moving on to this one. Uh, I wish I got them a little earlier in the day because they just seem a little bit, just a little bit stale. Not fully stale, but it's getting there. Okay, here we go. Okay. So you got the, the caramel filling inside the donut. It's very sweet, very syrupy, rich. <coughs> I'm glad I got the coffee. Mmm, oh that helps. Take a little bite of donut, take a little sip of coffee. Mmm. Mmm. They go together beautifully. How do they get that filling inside that donut? If you work at Tim Hortons, let us know. Chances are you just stick it in. And squeeze. Ooh la la. Wow. There's a lot in there. Now, which one is better? I think the wild berry is better. I'm just a wild berry kind of guy. We have a winner! Now I'm all sticky. That might help. Leftovers from days gone past. No cuts on my fingers. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, watch the sunset, enjoy my coffee, and then I'll look through uh, the KBD movie suggestions that you guys gave me in the last video. I just launched the last video and you guys are leaving comments on it right now. I launched it at I think almost 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock. And we got tons of suggestions like uh, No One Will Save You, Home Alone 2, Greenland, Clockwork Orange, 
Darth Vader's in that one, didn't you know? Castaway, burnt. So thanks everyone for all your suggestions, man. I'll uh, make a decision in the next couple hours. Look at that beast. <laughs> That's like a crazy monster truck. Six doors. <laughs> Raised body. Crazy. That truck over there, right there, as he pulled in and stopped, I noticed his brake lights weren't working. So I went over and told him, and he was very, very thankful that I told him. I'm not sure how much the ticket would be for not having brake lights on a big rig like that. Uh, and also the, the danger factor or safety factor. So I'm glad I went over and glad he was in the truck and uh, he was extremely thankful. So yeah, I just left this one open just to let some light in and I can see what's going on around my van. Definitely want to turn my fan on because this thing is hot in here. This thing comes in super handy. Anyway, so I'm just going to sit back, relax, go through your comments, maybe watch a couple of videos and uh, then we'll uh, watch our movie. It's uh, 31 degrees Celsius. 80, 88 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so I think I'm gonna crack the window. That'll help. <laughs> Just going for another walk and uh, that to the left there is the city side of this parking lot so you can't get from that side to the highway but it looks like we got uh, possibly some campers tonight be interesting to know if they're here still in the morning maybe we'll take a peek at like seven if i'm up and then over here we've got an rv and a couple other type vans that possibly are going to be camping here tonight. We'll see. I don't think they really allow camping per se, but uh, they might not mind people parking for the night if they're tired. I really don't see the problem with people that are tired. As long as you don't set up tents and stuff like that and leave garbage. I bet that guy will be here in the morning. That big RV. I'm not sure if that's a stealth camper or a van camper. But I bet there's people sleeping in the car. This guy, there's a guy right inside this vehicle. He is definitely sleeping. His chair is back. But uh, there's a light on inside that RV. Time to watch a movie, people. As you can see, it's 1126, and I looked through all the comments in the comment section below, and a couple people asked me to watch The Dark Knight. So guess what? We're watching The Dark Knight. Netflix, let's do it. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. I love this movie. Look at that shot. Fantastic. Something makes you stranger. I'm gonna make this 
this pencil disappear. You don't have any say in the matter, Commissioner Gordon. Well, it's 2.05 in the morning, August 8th. Let's go see what they got going on inside the en route. Oh, so tired. Not a whole lot of cars here of course definitely a few trucks so what does the en route look like at two o'clock in the morning well 207 Popeyes a and W is closed Tim Hortons is open of course, the market is open. And a whole lot of people around here, for sure. Don't really feel like eating any food right now. Definitely don't feel like any cotton candy. Let's grab some water. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, somebody's got to work here. <laughs> kind of figured somebody was busy doing something. Thank you very much. You too. Nuts. Well, that's what the on route berry looks like at two o'clock in the morning. And that bottle of water cost me $5, even. Got my water for later. Let's plug in that USB-C. Make sure my phone is plugged in. And there we go. It's now 21.4 degrees. Celsius, that's 70.7 .7 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, it's quarter after two in the morning. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, people. How's it going? It's uh, almost 8 o'clock. Let's go into the en route. See what it looks like at 8 o'clock in the morning.
awesome day. Very cloudy, but nice temperature. This thing that's 17 degrees Celsius. It's pretty good. Let's go see how busy this place is at eight o'clock in the morning. Ooh, lots of people going up north. That RV's still there, so they were here all night. I wonder if that other truck was here. No. Yeah, Tim Hortons is all lined up. Popeyes isn't open. A and W isn't open. A&W's open now. We'd love to see you. Okay, let's go. First time through this drive through. Hi there, where can I get started with you today? Hi, uh, good morning. Could I have a large latte, please? Okay, anything else? That would be it, thank you. We'll have that ready for you. All right. Nice. Yeah, they used to have the Starbucks inside the en routes, and I think they were missing out on a lot of the drive through stuff. So they decided to build these uh, standalone little kiosks outside so they could have their own uh, drive through And I think it took them about a year to convert them all over. I think uh, pretty much all of them have a Starbucks outside of the actual main building. And that's what our $20 bill looks like up here in Canada. And you can see through this little area here. It's kind of cool. I don't think a Sprinter would fit through here, so don't try it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Enjoy your day. You too. I'm just going to pull over to this spot real quick. Got to give this latte a sip. What a great little breakfast. Good morning, Canada. And everybody else. Yeah, lattes are the way to go for sure. One of my favorite drinks for the morning. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today at the En Route Berry Northbound 400. Uh, it's really nice to show you guys around, show you what it'd be like if you're traveling through Ontario at this location with all the types of restaurants that they have and the facilities and just what it looked like and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again in the next video talk to you guys later bye